underprivileged kids who live in low-income areas and communities who can benefit from this. And hopefully we'll promote more physical literacy um, for them and just offer them more opportunities to get involved in sports. My venture is Own Your Burden, Learning Disabilities by Teens. We're a group of high school students with learning disabilities and learning differences that go around to fourth and fifth grade classes and discuss how to make an open environment for kids with learning disabilities and learning differences to come forward and feel confident and stop being ashamed of any problems they might face in school. This is my venture, Hooping Against Teen Violence. And I feel as though, like, in my community, I live in a Brooklyn Wall 5 community. And in my community, it's like a whole rack of teens outside. And we have one of the top five biggest wrecks. And what brings to my mind, like, why is the teens always outside? So I reached out to some of the teens in my community and seen, like, why, why they always outside. And basically, they say it's nothing for them to do. So I reached out to my rec manager to see, like, how the schedule is for everyone. And basically, it's only two days out of the week for teens to actually go to the rec and do something. And I thought that was kind of crazy. So I'm setting up these basketball tournaments year-round, whereas the teens could come into the gym, play ball, and afterwards, after playing ball for community service hours, they can clean up after the rec because every D.C. student needs 100 community service hours to graduate. I'm Robin Pollock. And I'm Caitlin Christian. And we're sophomores at Sidwell Friends High School. And our venture is called Clean Care. Clean Care really wants to educate teenagers about this because teenagers, their bodies are developing. They're the most susceptible to all of the side effects that these chemicals have. Also, teenagers just don't know about a lot of these things because we're younger. We assume that everything we put on our bodies is fine and safe, and we really just want to smell good. Also, as we said before, we use more products than adults. So the way we would do this is presentations at schools where we would present the, all the health side effects that are related with a lot of these chemicals. We'd offer some uh, alternative products that teenagers can use that are safer, and we'd also talk to them about the various petitions and legislation that's in Congress right now that's trying to change the laws and make products that to have to have better safety standards. So basically we just need money to kind of spread the word, to advertise, to make stickers and posters that we could like kind of make kids aware of the problem so that they could follow up on it. Because while there's tons of websites, tons of studies about all of the issues and all the side effects, People just simply don't know about it. Like when we surveyed people at our school, only 34% said they had any idea, and a lot of them said they only knew about the allergies. So if kids just kind of know about the issue, they can research it by themselves, they can visit our website, they can see what are safer products. Um, my name is Amy Wu. I'm a sophomore at Richmond Montgomery High School in Rockville, Maryland. Um, and I'm also a lot of other things. I am a banana, as you would call it, because I am yellow on the outside and white on the inside. <laughs> I am um, an ABC, an American-born Chinese. I'm also a second-generation immigrant. And so for kids like me, that's an identity crisis right there. So many things to be. Um, so my venture, Cultural Crossroads, deals with that and, and more. And so our mission is to address the often disjointed relationship between first and second generation Chinese Americans, so that would be the parents and the kids, um, by bridging the cultural gap between the Chinese American community and the American cultural environment it resides in. Okay, so, did you know that in D.C. that there are 2,000 children in the, in the Child and Family Service Agency and that 59 and teenagers make up 59% of that population? Our program, Foster Teen Expression, addresses the lack of ability for foster teens in the Child and Family Service Agency, also known as CFSA, to address, uh, to achieve their goals as young adults. I'm a part of that 59% of youth in care, and I personally have concerns about being well equipped to, being well equipped to handle adult responsibilities when I emancipate from CFSA. Our program acts as a support system that is strongly needed in the, in the in care. The the alumni and the uh, and the staff will take the role of mentoring and encourage you to build up and motivate their peers. When I first came into care, I was lost, scared, and unheard. Expressing myself helped me get my get to the depth of who I am as a person. Built myself built my self confidence and made me consciously aware of what goes on around me. 
When I felt defeated, art gave me the, the will to take back control of my life and advocate for use, for use right in CFSA. The process of creating their, their final projects will help them cope with their help them cope with the hardship they face in their traumatic experience of, of being in care.